how risky is the game of rugby? And what are those things uh, that um, those, um, is, should I use gadgets now or equipment that you need to use in guarding yourself from injuries? Oh, that's a good question. Um, yeah, there's no getting away from the fact that rugby is a very physical sport mm -hmm. and that injuries will occur. Um, in fact, my career was uh, cut short with a nasty injury where wow. I, I broke my left ankle. Wow. Um, and uh, luckily I did come back and play after that. Um, but certainly it, 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 is, it is an issue. Um, on the clip we just saw that, that very pitch, I actually attended a sevens tournament and half time was throwing the ball around with my son and um, he fell into a ditch. Wow. <laughs> yes. so, so picking up on the point that you made about the, the, pitch. About the pitch. And so and the pitch is one aspect that could uh, present um, uh, hazards in terms of safety. Mm. But um, it, there, are many other, there, there, there are many other issues in terms of safety, but mainly in rugby, what you, what you rely on is the sensibility and um, and the trust yeah. in your opposition. There are a lot of rules. And the um, referee. And the referee, mm -hmm. of course. And a lot of rules and technical aspects as to how um, two of us may engage in, um, in, in contact. Yeah. Um, and that's a difference. I think you see in, in American football, like you mentioned, they have a lot of protective padding. Yeah, but then I do not believe that they have the same rules and they fly into tackles oh, in head, head first. first. No, yes. arms. no arms. And so, of course, the, the necessity for padding is, is, is obvious. Yeah. Whereas in rugby, um, we don't wear padding. And the, um, most the only things we do wear maybe the scrum caps, yeah, uh, head gear. Head gear. So of course, the gum shield. Get, yeah. the gum shield, very important. In fact, yeah. that's probably the most important. Really important yeah. Because mm -hmm. that's like, if you get hit, you get knocked out. Yeah. So it's yeah. very important to wear gum shield. Wow, that's so quite I think, a tough one. I think when it comes to the gear and the rugby, when it comes to injury, it's like any walk of life, anything can happen at any time. Yeah. Some people go their lives without getting injured. Uh -huh. Others, unfortunately, that they do. But what I realize when it comes to local rugby is that if you don't improve the officiating, yes. people who know the rules, who put the two teams together, that's when you have problems. Uh -huh. So it has to start with the organization to protect the players when they're playing, refereeing the games, who knows what he's doing. Otherwise, it just becomes a nightmare.